December 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Well, hello there, Hamson. Um, hi, smooth, right? Real smooth. And by the way, I do give her a British accent, which is why in the session, which I recorded yesterday, the session 3, I give her a British accent. So, I'm explaining that in the session if you guys really want to know. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. He... I want to sell, to sell. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job hard. Gee, this is all like coming out of the movie. It's all so exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can let the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. And that would be you, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Anyways. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? No touching. Ooh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was gonna explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Anyways, what's your witness? Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe. Incident, you sound just like a lawyer at the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Hmm, go I better not encourage her. Er, you know that thing that occurred, um, happened the other day, the bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see him. Mm, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you... Just who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tee -hee. you know you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, eh, <laughs> right. Can you tell me what it is you do? Well, no, tee -hee. and you had your little hopes hat, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me. I'm er, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Ah, oh, my. Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Hmm. What a jerk. Anyways... Let's get out of here, because this chick is scaring the living hell out of me. Seems like Mr. Brooksbrook is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Ah, oh, so you are the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, uh, yeah. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter? I came to see the one and only Marvin Rosberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya, Maya Faye. Ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. What a strange reaction. Ah, cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How do you know the trial was tomorrow? Or, oh, um, anyways. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Uh, your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me, why won't you take the case? Ahem. Well, you just see, it's just I'm busy, you see. But the client, my Mia Faye's sister. Um, ahem. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be gun hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Mm, think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. Well, what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will 
take on this particular case. Tell me, sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? Nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Can I? How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Anyways, that looks like Red Dead Redemption or something. Well, let's get out of here.